Hey everyone, today I'll show you one of the best resorts that I've come across in Rishikesh and that's Aloha by the Ganges. So this is the entrance from where you come and then here you can see there are a lot many apartment looking flats. It's a little downhill. You have some paved parking as well. So like if you're staying here, it's free of cost. So here you'll see that we have some view at the back side. I'll take you there. But then yeah, this is where it gets started. You go a little downhill. Some nice lush green land. There are a few flats here, so it's a this Aloha by the campus, it's not like a proper resort sort. Here you would find people who are staying here in 2 BHKs, 1 BHKs or 3 BHKs uh, permanently. And then you also have a hotel-like system where you come in for a day, check in, get all the services, have buffet and then go back home, be it Delhi NCR or anywhere nearby. So, uh, so like I took a 2 BHK, a uh, 2 bedroom apartment, so uh, it was a nice experience and it had the view of the Ganges. So there are two views that you get. So this one, whatever you see here, these flats or hotel rooms, they have a view of the garden that you just saw. Now let me take you to the other side, which is the back side of this. And let's see how that view looks like. You have a golf cart that can take you around the resort because it's a little uphill and downhill. So, like if you have elderly with you or kids, it would be a good idea. We have an indoor buffet restaurant as well. We have some activities like art gallery, and then they also provide you what all is there. Quite interesting. Country or bubbly too. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to do that. But then, yeah, if you did get a chance, do let me know. Some t-shirts. There's also a class that you can take for painting the t-shirts. There are some activities which are paid, or there are some which are included. It depends. And this is the view that you see from the back side. So what you see here, you have, this is where you come out, you can sit, um, that's the place where every evening around 5.30 to 6 p.m. you have the Ganga Aarti, so there are around 3 or 4 Pujaris that do the Ganga Aarti um, and there is a proper system of mic and speaker, so that's good. There's also a pool on the cliff side, but then uh, I'm visiting this place in February 2022, so we have just recovered from the third wave. So it's not open for the guests, be it of any category. But then, yeah, this is where it is. So now let me tell you a little bit about the location. So here you must have understood, uh, you must be knowing that there are Rishikesh is famous definitely because of. Uh, the religious side of things but then it's also famous for the adventurous activities such as white water river rafting so for that this is the pathway that they use uh, so this is almost the end but then if you need to go for with white water river rafting you can go and take that place towards Shivpuri so it's a little uphill 
and then from there you you can see rafts coming in people shouting enjoying and then they just go ahead to the lakshman jula to end their uh, uh, their rafting experience so this place is uh, around 500 meters by foot from the lakshman jula but then uh, 500 meters or 1 kilometer but then yeah if you have a car then uh, and if you have elderly with you i would recommend you use that car and then uh, then visit uh, the lakshman jula it's very really beautiful in the morning as well as at the night because of the lighting and here because uh, today is a weekday you don't see that much of crowd otherwise uh, we, when we were here on saturday and sunday uh, we could see rafts coming in every 5 to 10 minutes so yeah nice experience so uh, this is what i wanted to show you uh, you have some living area which is open for all the guests even if you're just visiting because this is just uh, near the reception so you can just chill relax you have some activities like air hockey carrom chess pool table all of that is there if you want to go for their visit you can do that uh, there are some cultural activities as well planned for the weekend so here rishikesh is within the state of uttarakhand so uh, and uttarakhand also has two regions or two kind of cultures one is kumauni and the other one is garhwali so here this region is mainly a part of garhwal so you could see cultural um dances the folk dances of the garhwal region and then they definitely because they wanted to bring variety they also included uh, rajasthani and uh, gujarati cultures but then a yeah, nice place to visit over the weekend you have much more activities compared to the weekdays for the obvious reason because you have a lot of crowd but then yeah if you just looking forward to a chilling experience where you just need to chill and not do much i would recommend come here for more than just a weekend so that you can enjoy both so that's the art and craft section about so i hope you like the video and as i travel i'll let you know of the good places that i come across and i'll share with you thank you for watching till the end have a good day